Hey, how's it going? I'm here with another project that I'm working on my Scion IQ. Um, today, I'm going to be installing a few LEDs. I got this from Amazon. I get everything from Amazon. Uh, let's see, Pry EU. I don't. I've never heard of this brand before, but they were well rated. Pry EU 12 volt auto LED flexible strip light. So. I got this one because it's made for cars, essentially, because it doesn't have a transformer or anything. It's meant to connect directly to a 12-volt line. And they're white, and they're a foot long each. They are a foot long, including a little bit of a strip on the end, which I wasn't too thrilled with, but it's not a huge deal. If you see this little piece right here at the very end of the light, um, that's about a half an inch right there that is unusable um, of the 12 inch strip but nonetheless I think it'll work out fine essentially what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, wire into this really ridiculously dim um, unhelpful dome light um, I'm going to wire into here and then I'm I think I'm gonna look at it one more time, but I'm probably gonna do one strip here along the door, and then I'm gonna do um, one strip here along the driver's seat, and one strip here along the passenger, I say passenger seat, passenger window, and then one more on the the, uh, the passenger side window. So, let's we'll see how it goes. It should be an easy project, hopefully. Right, so it's dark here today. I hate using the flash on video, but I'm going to do it anyway because it's too dim without it. The dome light um, comes off really easily. You just take a, screw, a flathead screwdriver, kind of pry it into the side here, and then gently pop it, and that's it. You get, a, you get this popped out, and you have access to your wires. Um, I'm going to double check real quick so I can not lead you guys wrong here, but I'm pretty sure we're going to be tapping into the black and white wire. But I do want to know what these other ones do, so I'll be right back. Alright, so I didn't do a ton to verify, but I'm pretty sure after a couple of things I looked at, black and white's uh, going to be my wire. Um, I couldn't figure out with quick research what the remainders of these do. I'm guessing that it's uh, like this is a power supply, uh, power supply to the actual LED, but I'm not certain, and I don't know what that third wire does. Um, but who cares? I don't need to worry about that because I just want my LEDs to come on when I turn on my light, open my door. So I'm gonna wire it up through here. I'm gonna come again right up to the fronts and then the doors. Um, so that one of the first things I'm gonna do here is kind of just pull off the the seal that goes around the door. It should just pop right off without any effort, really. And sure enough, that's exactly what it does. We'll be going in under here, and as you see there, that is a sweet airbag. And you don't want to lock that up with the wire that you're running. So I'm going to go above that, and hopefully it doesn't blow up in my face. But I'm pretty sure the trigger's in the hood so should be good I detached the the clip um, right here you just stick a little um, screwdriver or you could probably use your thumb and then pull it out and I ran my fish line just straight through from the top and it popped out right here on the end again I was careful to make sure that I went above. Let's see if we can get a good picture of this. You can see right here, I went above the plastic and the airbag. So if this does ever deploy, the wire's not going to snag it or anything like that. So I'm just going to fish my power lines through on my LEDs. These guys, I'm just going to run them from the, the door frame and drop them in. I probably won't need any extra wire. Um, these have probably about two feet of wire. It should suffice. So I'm going to run these four real quick because I'm going to put them all in generally the same area and then get back. Alright, so I got the LEDs, um, the wiring run. 
Got the two on that side and the two on this side. All of them fished down to the middle here. And what I did is I spliced all four lights together because um, I didn't want to mess with the little bit of wire that I have to work with right here. I opted to connect them to a single wire um, with the splicing so it's just easier to work with. And then that way I'll just connect these two wires to my white and black cables right here. And hopefully that should be it. So I'll, I'll splice into these. Um, I'll probably just cut them and then wire them back together with my clips and that should be it. Hope it works. All right, so I'm making progress. I opted to solder the connections just because there's such a little amount of wire I had to work with here. I didn't want to splice it and have to connect things back together. So I am okay with soldering. Again, like everything else, DIY, kind of novice, but it works. It's on there really good. And obviously my lights are, my goodness, these are... <laughs> going to be way better than the really sad looking LED that I had from my dome light before. So last step is to tape these off and tuck them back up in there and mount the lights, which are 3M tape on the back. So it should be pretty easy. I'm just going to kind of stick the wire right in there and go go down with it and then up. I decided not to do it right here um, as I was toying around because if I ever need to replace my window, which I live in Arizona, so that happens a lot, um, I'd have to probably scrap the lights and rewire them. I don't want to do that. So I think they'll be good right here. And then I'll either do it up here. Man, last minute decision. I have to have to decide whether to do, I could do two right here and just hit and be done with it and this always stays right there because uh, otherwise it's going to have to go on the bottom of the seal which isn't a big deal but I don't know how that would look might not like that so I gotta gotta work through that last as I mount these and then I'll be done all right so everything's wired and pushed back up I did opt I, I really wrestled over it I did opt to put them up on the windshield. I figured, I mean, these things I think were like 15 bucks. And I put two on the windshield, one in front of the passenger, one in front of the driver. And then I also put one on the side panel of the passenger and driver's side. So, my dear, <laughs> do the honors. You open the door, and we have light. Lots and lots of glorious light. No more dim nonsense like that little guy, which still works. So you look cute guy in there. But that's it. Um, it went as expected and no problems. I like it. As bright as a $15 job. Lights only and some spare wire I had laying around and electric tape and solder. I have any questions, let me know. Uh, this is a video from the outside of the car, man. That like super, super bright it lights up the whole interior. I'm not going to be dealing with not being able to see anymore um, in the whole front of the car. I know guys have done their trunk. I, d I never really use the trunk, so I didn't worry about doing that. But I, I do have constant problems seeing the interior of my car. Not anymore, because holy cow. Look at that. Nice. I like it. I like it.